Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. This video today is a remake of the one I did when I first started the channel around daytime polar alignment. The audio was appalling, so I'm just dubbing it over the top of the original video. So, yep, all about daytime polar alignment. It's going to be done on my Sky Guider Pro. Um, you could, the process is the same regardless what mount you use. So, let's get into it. first thing you're going to want to do is find north. I simply did this by placing a compass on the patio, pointing it north, and where the compass was, I sprayed some paint onto the patio. Um, when I use my large amount, I tend to put the front leg of the, tri of the tripod onto that one, so you know you're pointing north from the offset. You need to make sure that your mount is level. Um, to do this, there should be a bubble somewhere on your mount head, and just make sure that your legs are all at out and correct and, and locked in tight. I put markers on the legs so I can see for easy reference next time I set up in the same location. But yeah, just make sure that your mount's level. And then we need to find a way to attach the phone to your mount. Here I've used a dovetail and all I've simply done is placing a screw into that dovetail um, and that allows me to rest the phone in situ on the mount ready to do the daytime polar alignment routine. One tip I have for you here is make sure that you turn your Wi-Fi off when you're doing this, this uh, setup and routine. It really uh, affects the GPS. So yeah, just make sure that your Wi-Fi is off when, you, when you're starting this uh, process. So here you can see I'm using Polar Align, Polar Scope Align Pro app. It's great. A um, couple of bits of information we need off here is the latitude at the top, which is 52 degrees. But you can also see that where Polaris would be if you were to use this of a night time. But obviously this is for daytime polar alignment. So, yeah, you just go down to your latitude here and adjust that accordingly to be 52 degrees. Mine's pretty much set. It's just over 50 there, so it should be just about right. Now everything's in place, we can start doing the, the routine. So you see the three buttons down the bottom right corner there of the app. If you click on those, up pops a little menu and you want that sun. Click on that sun and up pops your daytime polar alignment tool. And then all you're simply going to do here is adjust the azimuth bolts and, and, make, and bring that star there right into the center of the target. Obviously, because you've used your compass and aligned it and you've got the correct latitude, you should you should be able to see that tar that that star on that target. However, you may need to move the tripod left and right to get it there. But once you've got it in place, you simply move it across, and there you have it. That is now what I'd consider roughly polar aligned. Um, gives you a great starting point. All you need to do is leave your mount out there to the evening and fine tune it. Um, and you have uh, what I consider very good alignment and it does save you bending down on your knees looking through the polar scope if you were just doing some observing. So hope you found the video useful. Um, give me a, a like and a subscribe. I'd really appreciate to help the channel grow and I just want to wish you all clear skies.